uh, this one here. Okay, cool. So, what? how would we find f of x? So, in other words, integrating this gives us that, right? So, how would we go from this to that? Um... So, in other words, let me ask a question. How did we go from here to here? What was the relationship between f of x and x cubed? How do we go from, from here to there? What do we do? We cubed it. No. We, what's this sign? Oh, integrated. Yeah, we integrated it. But if it becomes a primitive function, it, um, it's like x squared over 2. Hang on. So to go from f of x to x cubed, we had to integrate. You see that? Yeah. Now, let me go in reverse. To go from x cubed to find what f of x would be what do we have to do differentiate differentiate what's the different what what is the derivative of x cubed 3x squared 3x squared got it yeah now have a go at this No, we're finding the integral of 3x squared. Let's, let's integrate 3x oh, okay. squared. What would it be? Um, x cubed? Yep. Between? 4 and 0. 4 and 0. You see, that's, that's exactly what we get? Yeah. So what would f of x be? 3x squared. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. That's that's what they're really testing for is if you can understand the fundamental theorem of calculus, right? So you, the, the, what they're testing for is to see if we differ, if we integrate to get a, a new function, how do we get the old function? We do the opposite of integration, which is differentiation. Different. Yeah, that's what they're asking. That, that's what that question is really testing for. Okay. Okay.